Jesus freak here. Technically, what will follow the readings isn't really something that I, as a layperson, should be doing, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to split the recording up so that I can have, you know, someone speak and it's some responding. <laughs> and I'll start this with the usual prayer that I start with. <clears throat> Almighty God, who has given us thine only begotten Son to take our nature upon him, and as at this time to be born of a pure virgin, grant that we, being regenerate and made thy children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by thy Holy Spirit. Do the same, our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the same Spirit ever. One God, world without end. Amen. Our first reading for today will come from Isaiah. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons of the stranger shall not drink of thy wine, with which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called out, sought out, a city not forsaken. Psalter reading. Psalm 97. The Lord reigneth, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of isles be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire gro uh, goeth before him, and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world, the earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, that boast themselves of idol. Worship him, all ye gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, o Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. He that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteousness, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness.
Our epistle is from Titus. But after that the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Our gospel is from Luke. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because it was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in their field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass... As the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. This concludes the reading for this morning, but I am going to go on and provide additional material. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God, we confess, confess that we have sinned, sinned against thee, and thought, word, word and, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have, done, done, and by what what we have, have left undone. We have not loved thee with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of thy Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in thy will and walk in thy ways to the glory of thy name. Amen. Almighty God, 
God, our Heavenly Father, who with his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon you, and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto the O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. Because thou didst give Jesus Christ thine only Son to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Ghost was made very man of the substance of the Virgin Mary his mother, that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become thy children. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee, and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of thy glory. glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself, once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you, and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this, as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son and Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion 
they worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounded duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this give day us this our, our daily, daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, lead us, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, deliver us from evil. but deliver us from evil. For thine, For thine is, is the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, and the glory, glory forever. forever. Amen. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us, Therefore, keep, the let feast. us keep the feast. We do not, we do not presume, presume to come to this thy table, table of merciful Lord, Lord trusting, trusting in our own righteousness, righteousness but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. table. But thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual fruit of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you 
and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.